Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Solnar's Minis. Today I have something a little bit different. Um, I got a box and I know what is in this box through the mail. Um, I did a Kickstarter with um, a company called King Games uh, for their um, line of miniatures based on old Citadel role-playing games. Um, and they're called Duckendorf. And so what I'm gonna do is I I'm going to open this box uh, from this Kickstarter. I don't remember everything I got, so this will be a little bit of a surprise for me. In some cases, I do remember a lot of it. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, I have removed my name and address because nobody needs to know that. Um, and I'm going to turn this over. It is unopened. And we're just going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. And we are greeted with popcorn and minis. So I'm just gonna remove some of this stuff and we're gonna go see what I got. So there's a lot of things that should be in here. Um, some of it I'm excited for just because it's terrain that I can use in a lot of different things. Um, some of it is really cool minis uh, that are civilians or could be used for um, more time uh, characters. So let's start off with this. So we have, start on the very bottom here. Okay, so as you can see, this is Dunkledorf Miniatures. The company is King Games. Um, these guys are awesome. Uh, this is my second Kickstarter with these people. I'm really happy overall with the quality of materials that we get from them. This is um, a character from the last Kickstarter I backed. This is Sven. Um, it's kind of a crazy looking dude. But this is pictures, printed prints of paintings of some characters that are in this one. Oh, excuse me. And we're just gonna kind of go through and do this. Some of these characters are really interesting. Um, some of them are a little bit different, but that's okay. I like odd stuff. Uh, and these guys, these miniatures definitely fit into that category. Uh, all right, so what do we have here? Uh, this is flowers. And as you can see, it's got a pewter bouquet and a resin bouquet. Um, this is one of the things that I was excited about. This is a board for like putting on wanted posters and for missions. Uh, I can make one of these, but to have one done out in resin, it's really cool. Um, just because I like the style of this. these miniatures, it just fit out really well. I was pretty excited about this. So here is the mission board, wanted board. Um, it has, obviously there needs to be some cleanup on these miniatures to make them look really super nice. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the way these look. Uh, let's see what else I got. I just put this way. I have what looks to be a signpost, a couple signposts that could direct people towards different directions. Um, ooh, some lamp posts. Because you know, the medieval world is just not like light posts electric light, but you can have signposts. Um, some sort of obelisk type of thing. This looks really freaking cool. Um, this would be great for Mordheim. All right, so now we're starting to get into the miniatures. So this is an actress. Um, you could make her if you wanted to. An apprentice, she has a book in her hand. Um, 
we have a town's guardman, or you could use him as a mercenary in Mornheim. A mutant kid. She has a little claw hand. Super cool. Ooh. Another mutant kid with a tentacle arm. Like I said, this is based on um, the Warhammer, old Warhammer um, role playing game. So mutants are a big deal in that. Uh, you have, I believe this gentleman is supposed to be retired from. Uh, the military was a art, uh, artillery artificer, uh, what got damaged, so he's now a florist, according to the lore. Um, this one was interesting to me. This is a toy maker, um, and you could do a lot with a toy maker. Um, it could be an alchemist. It could be a lot of different things. Another soldier, guards person. Again, soldier, guard person, mercenary. This one's a mercenary with a drink. Older mercenary with a drink and an eye patch. Again, these would all be great for more time. Or some other skirmish style war band. Ugh. Here we go. So, lots of um, little things like a small chest, a toy, another basket with flowers, book with quill, just kind of cool, neat little bits that you can add to things. Uh, this bird, um, it's kind of a chaos bird, I, I believe. Um, one of these should have multiple heads. It's really cool. And then yet another mutant child. Bard, musician, something of that nature. Another mercenary. Astrologer um, could also be used as a magician, wizard. Dwarf banker. Pretty cool. And then they have their three bonus miniatures. Um, so we have a pregnant mother and a child. Crazy man could be used as a flagellant, except you know, except for a knife instead of a um, flail. And then. Not sure, maybe this is the, the actor. I th oh, the last one that I showed that I said it was an actor was a poet. This one's the actor. Um, with a moon face, which is also kind of crazy. Um, really great set of miniatures. I'm looking forward to painting quite a bit of these. Um, I think I'm gonna start off with uh, something a little bit different. I think I'll try to paint this kid up to go along with another miniature that someone got me. Um, and I might just show them both off together. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this unboxing. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I paid for this. This was a Kickstarter I did uh, quite a while back. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.